News 46 is brought to you by Inspiration Senior Living, where we provide affordable elegance to Pahrump area seniors. Give us a call at 751-2300 and make an appointment to tour our community. News is also brought to you by Bees Embroidery and Garment Printing, specializing in custom and personalized decoration of gifts, garments, and more. Call 775-727-9444. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, broadband is coming at a high rate of speed. KPVM-TV helps a local get her evening news. And tips on how to be a healthy senior citizen. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. And Zach Reinert. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Wednesday, March 2nd, 2016. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And I'm Zach Reinert for News 46. Valley Electric Association is offering broadband. You can sign up now for the April 3rd kickoff. Originally, we had intended to build out fiber to every home and business within our service area, from Sandy Valley to Pahrump all the way to Fish Lake Valley. The excitement has grown so much over the anticipation of when can we get it. And of course, we said anywhere from 12 to 18 months it's going to take to do the build out. But what we have determined is that our members aren't going to be patient. <laughs> if something comes up in construction, maybe it slips to 20 months, 24 months, that's going to be unacceptable. So we've talked internally about it, talked over with the board of directors and decided that we would launch wireless in conjunction with the fiber. So beginning in April 1, we will launch wireless across our entire valley. That will allow us to get our members wireless high-speed communications at speeds they've never seen before. That will then allow us to slowly and methodically build out the fiber without being stopped constantly saying, when are you going to get to my house? When are you going to get to my house? And I'm no different. I want to know when it's coming also. When are they going to be there? So this allows the members to get what they need, high-speed communications on a wireless standpoint, and then allows us to methodically and slowly build that fiber network out within the time frame that we originally stated. What happens then is the members will have the wireless, and then when we get there with the fiber, it's simply taking the wireless antenna down, plugging in the fiber, and away they go. We're going to be able to offer 25 megabit up and down speeds to every wireless customer. What does that actually mean? Is What are we getting now? Do you know? So a typical user might sign up for, say, a 5 or a 10 megabit uh, wireless, or maybe even up to 20 on, say, DSL, if you're one of the lucky few that doesn't have many neighbors in, uh, near you. Um, so this is a, a much higher number. What does that really mean? So at, so an HD movie is going to stream between 5 and 10 megabit. Mm -hmm. So one movie will take that. Mm -hmm. So if all you have is 5, you could, you're struggling just to do a movie. Um, and you couldn't do anything else at the same time. With 25, you can do two movies, all the, all the web surfing you want to do in a multifamily home, and it'll meet your needs. And so is this going to be competitively uh, priced? Yes. So uh, the 25 megabit is forty nine ninety five a month. And the plan is, is to build out the fiber the, the same way we planned all along. And when it gets to you, you'll have fiber at 50 meg for that same price. We're not going to raise the price. Can people sign up now? Absolutely. Please do. Call in um, and into the office, and we'll, we'll sign you up. We already have 3,800 people signed up. And so we'd love to have everyone in Prompt, Fish Lake Valley, Sandy Valley, Amargosa. Go ahead and call in, and we'll get that way we know that you're, you're ready to go, and we'll come right out to you as soon as we can. To sign up for broadband, call VEA at 775-727-5312. Today, News 46 went to a local resident's home to hook her up to our four digital television channels. The senior didn't have a digital antenna, so we improvised and got her hooked up to local news, which she has wanted for years. 
I was called to come out and uh, hook up over the air television for one of our lovely residents. And so, how uh, difficult was it? Uh, simple as a paper clip and inserting it into a little hole. And then you taught her also how to use the remote and go back and forth between satellite and over there. Pretty much, yeah. Showed her how to do that. Of course, I had to add the other step we didn't talk about was I scanned for over the air channels once we inserted the paper clip then you kind of tell your television to look for digital over-the-air channels. It found four of them, which happened to be the four that we broadcast. Before the paper clip, you couldn't pick up any, right? Right. We tried that first just to see and kind of demonstrate, you know, that there's nothing's going to happen unless you hook something up. But a paper clip is all it took. So she's got her local news now, which is what she really wanted to get because um, every single night she can find out what's going on here. Right. Now, exactly. Now we can tune in and uh, watch the news as well as listen to it on our radio station. Uh, everything was very good, and um, the installation was very simple. We hooked up with a paper clip, huh? Yes, yes. So, so you've got four over-the-air channels that are local channels. If you want to add the other ones, you can go and buy a digital antenna, which just screws in there, and um, get those. But you really wanted to get the local channels. Why? I wanted the local news and to find out what's happening here in our lovely town of Perum. Yeah. And so you have Dish Network, but you're able to uh, switch back and forth with your remote. Jason showed you how to do that. Very simple, if you remember to write it down. There's just two little things you have to remember. <laughs> and so you have your um, TV remote, so you're switching back from satellite to over the air. Is that what you're doing with your remote? Yes, yes, yes. You have to use the, the, the television remote to do that. Again. Hit input again. And then the downside of that disc. Down and then to hit the enter. Enter. Yeah. Okay, I can do that. So I understand this is the first newscast that Joanne is watching tonight. So all of us here at KPVM want to say hi and thanks for tuning in. If you want us to help you out, please call us 775-727-9400, extension 201. Hi, Joanne. Democrat Hillary Clinton and Republican Donald Trump, emboldened by commanding victories Tuesday across large swaths of the country, are beginning to focus on each other in the race for the White House. Clinton previewed a love and kindness message while Trump held a media conference where he pressed his case that Clinton is a proven failure as a longtime politician. Both spoke from Florida, where the general election is often won or lost. That wasn't one of the dozen states that weighed in on a day known as Super Tuesday because because it's the busiest of the 2016 primary season. Texas Senator Ted Cruz won his home state, Oklahoma and Alaska, while Florida Senator Marco Rubio notched his first victory in Minnesota. All right, we'll be back after the break. <laughs> 